Hello. In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to use the Get Input from Users functions to allow user interaction with your Alice project. You see before you the setup for a scene from the Norwegian folktale, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. In this scene, we have a stone bridge, we have a troll, and we have the billy goat. Also, the statement in which the troll challenges whoever is crossing his bridge has already been added to our project. To create the user interaction, we are going to use the billy goat function, get string from user. You will see that this function creates a dialog box with a place for the user to type information. However, to use what the user types in our program, we must add a text string variable. So we find the variable tile, drag it into our editor, we set the type of this variable to be a text string. A text string is just a sequence of characters, numbers and letters and uh, punctuation marks and so forth. We give the variable a name, in this case, answer. And then we provide an initial value for our variable, which in this case is just going to be an empty string. I'm not going to type anything and just click OK. Then I can click OK to insert the variable. And we see that the variable answer has been created and it's getting an empty string. I can now take the function get string from user and drag it up into uh, replace my empty string. A menu appears, ask me, all right, what do I want to appear in this dialog box, box to, um, to prompt the user? And in this case, I'm going to type the phrase enter or enter here. Click OK. Now if we run this project at this point, we see the troll challenging whoever crossing his bridge, and then a dialog box appears that allows us to type an answer. We now want to use this information to continue with our story. What we want to happen is if the user enters Billy, the troll is going to jump up on the bridge to confront the goat. Otherwise, if the user enters anything else, the troll will just let who's ever on the bridge pass on. This requires us to use a conditional statement, or the if tile. So I grab the if tile and pull it into my editor and select true as just the, the, the placeholder value. Click on true and I now see that I can do a text string compar comparison. And so I have a variety of options. Is what the user equal to a certain value? And so forth. And I want to equals ignore case. In other words, it's not going to matter whether the person types Billy with a capital B or a lowercase b. And then I will select answer as the variable that I want to use. And then I will enter the custom text string. And here I will type Billy. So now my if statement looks like if the answer equals ignoring the case, not the answer, but Billy. Looks like we have a little bug there. If that's true, then I'm going to want the troll. to move up one meter. If it's not true, we'll just have the troll say, you may pass on. And set the duration for that for two seconds. Now, when we run our world, Troll challenges the goat. In this case, the goat enters Sam. And the troll says, you may pass on. 
if I restart the world and I type Billy, and notice I even type it with lowercase b, the troll jumps up on the bridge. I hope this is helpful.